Hi guys, a warm welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be continuing with another aspect of design and that is human factors. This is a short but very interesting video and I request you to keep watching till the end of the video. Most of our buildings or spaces, the prime user or you can call it dominant users are humans and hence certain important aspects of human play a vital role in molding our design. So, let's start understanding those important factors. Now basically there are three important factors which you need to be considering while designing any space. And those factors are physical dimensions which we term it as ergonomics, psychological dimensions and sensory influence. These three factors will not only influence our design but also how as a human we react to any space. Now let us consider the first dimension and that is physical dimension. The spaces of a building are designed as places for human movement, activity and repose. There should be therefore comfort between the form and dimension of space and our own body dimension. This dimension of space is known as spatial dimension. The dimension of body is known as structural dimension and the dimensional requirement that result from any kind of activity we perform are functional dimensions. Now these three dimensions when fit into each other's criteria result into a comfortable space for the human. This comfort can either be a static one as when we sit in a chair, lean against a railing or nestle within an alcove. There can also be a dynamic com comfort as when we enter a building foyer, walk up a stairway or move through the rooms and halls of a building. Now let's move on to the second factor and that is known as psychological dimensions or you can call it as a personal space. Human beings share with animals a perception of appropriate uses of the space around their bodies which varies between various groups and cultures and among individuals within a group. This is person's territorial space. Others are allowed to penetrate these areas only for a short period of time. The presence of other people, objects and the immediate environment can expand or contract our sense of person space. The invasion of an individual's personal space can affect the person's feelings and reaction to everything around him or her. Now basically, this personal space or this kind of a space is divided into four zones. These zones can allow a person either to enter into their zone or allows a person to stay in on a certain distance. The first zone which we call it as an intimate zone. This allows physical contact and invasion by a stranger can result in discomfort. Now the second type of space is called a personal space. It allows friends to come close and possibly penetrate inner limit briefly. Conversations at low voice level is possible. Now the third type of a zone is called as social zone. It is appropriate for informal, social and business transactions. Conversations generally occur at normal to raised voice levels. This type of a zone is seen in public places like restaurants and cafeterias. Now the fourth type of a zone is called as public zone. Acceptable for formal behavior and hierarchical relationships. Louder voice levels with clearer enunciation are required for communication. Examples like a public hall or a gathering banquet area. These type of places need huge crowd to be accommodated. 
Now there is some appropriate distance which need to be maintained in different type of zones for the human comfort. For example, when two people are standing in person space, the distance should be minimum 18 inches to maximum 48 inches. For three people in social zone, the minimum distance should be 48 inches to maximum 148, 144 inches. And in public zone, the distance can be around 144 inches to 300 inches. In addition to these physical and psychological dimensions, space also has a tactile, auditory, olfactory and thermal characteristics that influence how we feel and what we do within it. These five aspects, if coordinated in a right way, will elevate the overall ambience of any given space. And hence, today we learn how important are three fact human factors that are important for designing any given space. And that's it guys for today's video. I hope this piece of information will help you in improving your design subjects. I'll be back soon with another set of information. Till then, keep learning and keep growing.